Okay guys, we are back with our 10th JavaScript tutorial and in this JavaScript tutorial we are going to learn about how we can get the values from the HTML elements. In this case, I have a form, form 1, there are two input fields, one is value 1 and give it a name val1 and there is a value 2, give it a name val2 and there is a submit button in the form and here you can see the form has been closed. Now let's have a look at our web page that how our form looks like. Here you can see that one label and there is a text field in front of that. There is a second one and the second text field. There is a submit button here. So I am calling a function f1 on the on click event of this submit button. Now let's have a look in our JavaScript file, .js file. In this JavaScript file, actually, I do not have you know write any statements in the function yet. But to get the values from this, these two, you know, this form, I want to get the values of these two input fields. So to get the values of these two input fields, we, we first have to, you know, give them an ID so that we can uniquely identify them. In this case, I want to give it an ID txt1 and ID equal to txt2. Actually, txt1 and txt2, in my mind, I, you know, I used to say that txt means in text field and the second one means you know text field too actually i use them you know gave you know use the id which are you know pretty much similar or relative to what you are you know assigning them to in this case we have two input field with the txt id1 and txt id2 so we are going to use those ids to get the element values of those elements now let's create a variable which will store the value you know taken from the first element val txt1 the input field txt1 we want to get the value of that text field and we will store the, that value in our variable x so create a variable then put an equal sign to now it's our time to you know specify the which element we want to you know target to get the value in this case we want to you know get the value of txt1 field you know the field that has an id txt1 so to do that let's go with document because you know this web page is basically in document so we are telling browser that go to the document dot get element e l e m e n t remember remember elements e the first e is capital element by and keep the b of the by capital and then capital i small d get element by id put a two brackets there and then dot and then value okay so we have told that browser that to get the value you know uh, get the value of the element from the document and store it in x but but we haven't specified yet that which element it has to be it will be so in this case we, are, we need to specify the id by id and these two small brackets use double quotes to spec and the type that id that we are using here in this case we want to get the value from this text field so it has an id txt1 copied from here and then paste it here now let's copy hold this thing because i do not want to type them type this statement again i will just change few things um, we need the second variable to store the values from the txt id2 that is the second text field here you can see that the second text field has an id txt2 and we get the, those ids now let's you know let's display those ids so that we can see that alert i'm going to use the alert function and then i will this, uh, this i will use the alert function to display those ids so in this case let's go with the the first one you know x is equal to no no not x value 1 is equal to and put a you know concatenation symbol which is plus in javascript and then type the x then put a double quote there then write the second string which will be value 2 equal to put a plus symbol there and then type the name of the second variable which has stored the values taken from the text field too 
So that's pretty much it. We get the values and we store them in two variables and now we are displaying those values. So that is you know, pretty much simple. But remember use the submit button, call the function and don't forget to give them you know unique ID so that you can uniquely identify them. Now let's go to web browser, let's refresh the page. Now put two values there, 12, 24. Here you can see that value 1 is equal to 12 and value 2 is 24. You know, we, there should be a, you know, a line break here so that the second value should come here on the second line. We can also do that. So now we are going to learn, and, and learn another thing that we want to put a break after the you know x. Now let's create here the expression. Okay, now let's see. And you can see that backslash n does works. So basically that's not you know not a really hard thing to do. Well you have also learned that backslash n in double quotes is used to you know go to the next line. For this tutorial, take care of yourself. If you have any problem, you can always ask me on my website or on our social pages. So pretty much it's you know that was a lot of things that we will learn in this tutorial. See you in the next one and goodbye. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Visit our website www.sartreviews.com and then go to learn section from menu don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn more